I want to show you how to set up the new document email functionality within GP2010, then also how to use it to create sales documents. So let's take a look at it. The first thing you're going to want to do is make two system setups. So let's do that. Let's go to Tools, Setup, Company, and down to Email Settings. Here I'm going to specify which file formats I'm going to use in my email messages. I'm going to send them as attachments. Then let's go into the sales series here and select which documents I want to send via email. And if I want to, I can send a message ID. I'm going to set that up. Let's take a look at the one I did. Here I have a subject for the email and the body for the email. You can also specify the reply to down here at the bottom. So I'm going to save that. And you have some other options down here if you want to select those as well. So those are the two system setups that you need to do in order to create sales documents and send them by email. So let's go to the customer setup. This brings up a customer list. Let's look at the customer I've set up already, advanced paper. And at the customer level, there's two setups you're going to need to do. For your bill to address, you're going to want to go in there and set up the email addresses. So open up the bill to address. We'll go to this information button here. You can see I've got three email addresses in here. You can send multiple emails, and you can see that set up right here. The next thing you need to do is go to email options down here in the customer. Tell them which document you're going to set up. You can include the message ID and then include the format that you're going to send. I've selected PDF. The system is going to turn that into a PDF document and then send it out as an attachment via email. So let's take a look at this in action. Let's take a look at an invoice that I've already created. Here it is. And here's the email information that's going to be used for this particular document. Now I can send this via email either one at a time or in a batch and I'll show that to you right now. If I want to send it as it is in email I can do that right here. Just click on that. It's going to go through the process of sending those three emails because remember I had three email addresses so it's going to send three messages. I can also send email messages in a batch. So let's look up this document again. And we'll go into the batch. Let's save this. Now, to send them by a batch via email, let's hit the printer icon here. Select the document type I want to send. Select that I want to send it in email. And then I'm going to reprint this because I've already printed it once. And then we'll hit print. And now it's going to go through and send those three email messages. Now that the messages have been set, let's take a look at them in my inbox. Here's my Outlook inbox. You can see I've got six messages. These are the invoices that were emailed to me. I sent a set of email messages from the document and also from the batch. And I had for that customer, I had three different email addresses set up. So I've got six emails here. Let's take a look at it. You can see that this email here is taking advantage of the comments that was set up that supplies the subject for the email and also the body. Now let's open up the attachment. It's a PDF document. And you can see that I'm using the new word functionality to create the invoice in Dynamics GP. So you can see how easy it is to use this new functionality within GP 2010. So give it a try.